So the forecast comes out today. Winter forecast from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. And people are wondering, what does this really mean for winter here in Minnesota? So we bring in meteorologist Cody Matz, scientist guy yourself. Scientist extraordinaire. Scientist nerd is what you call yourself. Nerd, yes. Yeah. Self-proclaimed nerd. Help us understand this, Cody. What does this mean? So I know there's there's room to freak out here. And, you know, with the, whatever forecast you're seeing, it's fine. I mean, we all know winter is going to happen eventually. Um, so what, what NOAA does, so it's a, a subsect of NOAA, kind of like the National Weather Service is, it actually comes from the Climate Prediction Center. So they work like the National Weather Service, except they do climate, long-term um, averages, long-term season outlooks. And so this time around, it's obviously the winter outlook, which is obviously, uh, it's your winter months. So this doesn't include November, this doesn't include March, this doesn't include April, this is winter months, December, January, and February. And so they look at probability. What is the probability of having below average, average temperatures and above average? And they do the same thing for precipitation. And their forecast for parts of Minnesota is on average, you look at probability, there's a slightly higher probability of below average temperatures and above average snowfall. Why? Because we're heading into a La Nina year. And in the average La Nina year, we get slightly below average temperatures and slightly higher snowfall totals. That doesn't mean we can't see a warmer than average winter. Doesn't mean that we can't get cold snaps and warm snaps and the whole thing. But if we, when you take all the daily highs and the daily lows and the daily precipitation for December, January, and February, it averages out to be slightly below average. Okay. That means you could still get a, a couple of 50 degree days in February. So is there anything we can glean from this at all or not really? Not really. Okay. I mean, there's no big signal for something really warm or really cold or okay. lots of snow. It really all depends on patterns. Perfect example, we had a very wet pattern for the first part of this year, and then it shut off and changed. And so it's kind of whenever that change occurs will depend, I think, on how cold we are and how much snow we get. If we continue our current pattern all the way through December, January, February, we ain't getting a lot of snow. Okay. But if it shifts and it changes and we see that coming, that's one of the things we talk about as meteorologists, we can see some of these patterns coming, then you can make better predictions, especially near term two and three and four weeks out. Okay, so don't freak out. Stop freaking out. Stop freaking out. Winter will be here eventually. It's gonna, and I know you're happen. super excited for it. Thank you for helping us break this down sure. and understand what this all really means. Anytime. Okay, all right. We're back.